Welcome to Hoffman Happenings. My name's Nadia. I am so glad that you could join me. Today I have a real fun haul. I am a huge fan of the 80s. My husband and I have an online radio station called 80 Central where we play 80s songs. Um, we just started actually doing some thrifting, looking for anything that reminds us of our childhood. <laughs> Toys, um, memorabilia, anything from the 80s and so today's haul is an 80s thrift haul I want to share with you some of the real fun uh, 80s uh, finds I found recently going to different thrift stores with my husband and I think I got quite a good collection that I was real excited to share with you so let's get started into this 80s thrifting haul all right first up some of my very special um, <laughs> toys are this Care Bear. I cannot believe how great condition this bear is. And I've been wanting to get Care Bears. I had them when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them anymore. And so I've been on a hunt and I was so happy to find this one in such great condition. Looks like it's from like 1983. Um, it's original tag is still there um, and it's in really good condition looks like he's been cleaned up and he looks really really sweet so I really was happy to find him all right this doll is definitely you know the doll of the 80s recently a member of the what toy Hall of Fame <laughs> here is a cabbage patch doll from 1985 and I found her at a thrift store she is in great condition. She is in all the original Cabbage Patch Kids clothes as you can see there. It says Cabbage Patch Kids on it. She's got her shoes, um, all original, even socks. And I just, I was so happy to find her. She was sitting on a shelf in one of these thrift stores, kind of in a weird spot and just kind of randomly sitting there. And I thought she was really adorable. Now, growing up, I had them. Um, I had five. <laughs> so she's number six. Um, I love them. I remember waiting, marking the days off on the calendar until I got my Cabbage Patch Kids. So um, I love them. I, I think they are just so cute. They bring back a lot of memories. And although I do have my original ones that I have, um, I'll share them maybe sometime if you're interested, but I wanted to to grab her when I saw her because she was, I believe, only around $30, which was a great price um, for the condition that she's in, and um, she's just really cute, so I'm so happy to find her. Up next, another doll from one of my favorite, probably my all-time favorite childhood movies, Annie, and this is the Annie doll that was from, I believe, 1982, the year that movie came out, and she is absolutely adorable. Now, I was a big fan of Annie. Um, I believe I had Sandy, but I never had an Annie doll, um, but I, I was just so happy to find her. Now, she does come with her little Sandy in the pocket, which is really hard to find. These dolls are, um, you know, think about how old they are and what kind of condition you can find them in. It's all different conditions I've seen them like especially with this doll this um, dog missing but I was so happy to find that she did have him here and he's in her pocket it's a little bit ruffled there <laughs> but um yeah she's really pretty good condition and yeah I got her at the thrift store and let's see I still have her tag on she was $15, so I was happy to find her. Like every other girl in the 80s, one of my favorites was Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> um, these are actually retro. Um, I did have the whole line growing up, um, but I just unfortunately did not keep them through the years. But I did find at a thrift store a few Strawberry Shortcake um, really great finds. This is the classic Strawberry Shortcake lunchbox <laughs> the tin lunchbox and I love this print on there um, with the strawberries and with this picture too and it came with the thermos and it's in pretty good condition it is a little rusted um, and I just think it's so funny inside how they used to mark <laughs> where you put your um, thermos I just thought that was so funny so yeah um, this also Again, came with the thermos, and I love the print on there. The strawberry shortcake, and it did have one um, little crack here in the straw part, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. So I was really happy to find this strawberry shortcake lunchbox. All right, another strawberry shortcake fun find I 
I found at the thrift store is the strawberry shortcake glass from 1983. It says there's more where this came from and it's got custard, strawberry shortcake's little kitty. And there's strawberry shortcake and she's hauling some strawberries. I thought this was really cute. This did come in a set. There's quite a few. Um, I just picked up one and I just thought this would be great to start a collection. There's some other ones I'm looking for as well. But I just thought this was really, really cute. I'm real excited to share this next one. It is a strawberry shortcake find and I found it at a thrift store and it was only $2. And I remember walking in, they had it in the back in this like garage area and they just had it laying out and I saw it like a few feet away and I told my husband, I'm like, oh, I want that. <laughs> and I picked it up and this is the strawberry shortcake clock, wall clock. And it is I can't believe it. It's like from 1982, I believe. Um, American Greeting Corporation. And it's got, the hands are still there. And it's still got the uh, picture. And it's in pretty good condition. The only thing is the cord, the, it does not work anymore, the clock, um, the motor. Um, so, and I have the cord here, so that does not work. But what I'm going to do is replace this. And this is really easy out here to replace, um, to just get like a battery motor. Uh, for the the clock and also there is a little crack. I don't know if you can see it It's kind of hard to see but there is if you see right there. There is a little crack in it So but other than that, I was really I mean, I think this was two dollars <laughs> Yeah, two dollars and these are going for like eighty dollars on eBay So I'm not sure I'm gonna sell it or not. I just I think it's just really really nice I was really happy to find this if you like Ghostbusters This is the official Ghostbusters training manual. Does anybody remember getting this? I couldn't believe we found this. My husband found it at a, one of the thrift stores we were at. It was actually in a glass case to kind of keep it um, in good condition. It's in pretty good condition. It does not have the sticker. So it's a the official Ghostbusters training manual. It's a guide to catching ghosts featuring the official Ghostbusters certificate of achievement. And it's got 12 collector stickers inside, but there's no stickers, but it's in pretty good condition right here. And it has the whole story in there with pictures and photos. It has all lessons, lesson two, Ghostbuster transportation. It goes through all the lessons. Ghost trap. <laughs> really cool. And look at this picture here. <laughs> Ghostbusters courage, lesson six. And then let's see at the end, does it have a certificate? Yep. There's your certificate. So yeah, this is really, really cool. Couldn't believe we found this. Some really fun music um, I found was this cassette tape of Tiffany, her first album. And I had this as a kid. I actually remember getting this for my birthday. I actually have it on video at my birthday party. My friend gave it to me and I can still see my face. I was so excited opening it up when I got this. So I played it, I don't have it anymore. So when I saw it, I thought, hey, I need to pick this up because this was uh, pretty much an album I played just constantly back in the day. And I thought it was really cool because they have the original sticker and it's from Sound Shop Tape. And it was from 1987. So they put their little sticker on it. So anytime you can find something like that with the like original stickers, I just think it's so cool. So I got this Tiffany tape. And to go in line with Tiffany, of course they go together, are some uh, finds I found from New Kids on the Block. And I am a huge New Kids on the Block fan. I grew up in New Hampshire. Um, I just, I love New Kids on the Block. I recently saw Joey McIntyre. I've seen New Kids on the Block several times. So I love all their things. But growing up, I did not have these. And I was happy to find them. These are their cards. Um, I, I remember seeing them. The these are the they're 16 super gloss photo cards. You get one sticker um, and they were 99 cents. So they're never opened. I thought this would be cool to maybe to open one up and then to keep one. But yeah, I found these new kids on the block cards. I wanna share with you this uh, 45 record case. Now I, this is really fun because uh, when I was really young, I actually started 
my record collection when I was five. I got my first um, 45 album, I remember, and my dad took me out to get me a, a case. I started a pretty good collection, and he wanted me to get a, a really nice uh, case to put all my 45 records in. So we just went out to a yard sale, and I picked this one out. It was at a garage sale for like $2. And I bought it and brought it home, and this was my record uh, case. Now, that was back in the 80s. Through the years, I unfortunately didn't keep it. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I did not have it. And this past uh, my birthday in January, my husband saw this exact one at a thrift store and got it for me. So this is not my original, but this is just what it looked like. I had this exact same... Um, uh, record case and had all my 45s in it. This was actually uh, from I guess the 60s <laughs> so it's not like an 80s item but I wanted to share I got this and this was something that I actually kept in the 80s because this is where I kept all of my 45s growing up so yeah I was really happy when my husband brought this home. It's the exact same one that I had. Now that's all of my 80s thrift finds that I found. Up next, I wanna share with you some 80s retro items. Now these are things that are not originally from the 80s, but they are 80s themed. And I just thought I would share with, share with you just some of the things that I have found recently that are definitely really fun. Up first is actually, I got this on uh, Etsy and it is a 80s um, water cup. And I just love all of the, the print on this one. It's got Strawberry Shortcake, The Care Bears, Rubik's Cube, MTV. Look, it even has the Wuzzles, all the cartoon characters. Um, Elvin and the Chipmunks, um, My Little Pony. It's got like all of my favorite cartoons on there. And yeah, it even has, I remember playing this for a mixtape, this cassette tape right here. Um, Muppet Babies so I just I saw this on Etsy and if you go to Etsy and you look up like 80s theme um, you know water bottles I'm sure you'll find a whole bunch next is a uh, strawberry shortcake rag doll now they do have ones from the 80s that I used to have and I'm trying to find them but I found this one at Target um, they're having just kind of like a retro theme so this is not from the 80s but it's based on the doll it's really cute. I think she's really sweet. She's a little smaller than I think the original one, but she's really cute. I just thought she was really cute, so I picked her up. She was at Target. Some 80s themed mugs are these right here. I've got Care Bears, this one. And I like this one because it's on both sides. So I thought that was really cute. And then we have this one here. E.T. I thought this one was really nice. E.T. And then this one. Gotta love this movie, Back to the Future. I just thought this one was really cool with the detail, especially right here. It's got the hover hoverboard. <laughs> so, Back to the Future mug right there. Also, if you haven't seen, I'm sure you may have seen these out in the stores, especially in the fall when back to school time hit, were the Trapper Keepers. <laughs> I was really surprised to see these and I honestly don't know if the kids now really get into them, but I know like the parents are probably buying these just to have them just because we remember getting these as kids. So I got this one. Now these are all brand new prints. So they're not really bringing back any of the old prints. I think the one I had, I remember it was purple with a palm tree on it. That was the one I had. But I really thought this was a cool print. So I picked this up a while back when they had them. I just got one. I was really tempted to get like every single kind they had. But I thought this would just be enough for me to keep. And so, you know, it's just like the old Trapper Keepers. Gosh, that's nostalgic. Just that sound of that Velcro. Well, this I even started writing in here. <laughs> but... It's got the folders in there. It's got the binder and the clip there. So I just thought this one was really cool. So yeah, they definitely have Trapper Keepers back, which is really fun. And then we also picked up this game, MTV Music Television, the Throwback Music Party Game. So we have not played this yet. I don't think so. I want my MTV. So I was really 
happy to find this. All right, well, that is my 80s thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you hadn't already. And I look forward to doing some more uh, 80s thrift hauls. Um, my husband and I are really enjoying going thrifting and just seeing what we can find and kind of, you know, buying the, the toys and nostalgia things that we had from the 80s when we were kids. So it was really fun. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, be kind. And I'll see you later.